paralyzed people can't bring themselves to the healer. You know, we live in a world full of broken and hurting people, people that are in desperate need of the healing touch that only Yeshua can give. When I was a kid, one of the most memorable stories of Yeshua's healing miracles was that story, that, that image that gets left in your mind of some friends bringing their paralyzed friend to Yeshua by lowering him down through the roof. It's in Luke chapter 5, verse 18. It says there were men carrying a paralyzed man on a stretcher, trying to bring him uh, in and to place him before Yeshua. But when they found no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and they let him down with his stretcher through the tiles right in the middle, right in front of Yeshua. What is it that's keeping the hurting and the broken from the healing that's available to them? Well, like the paralyzed man in Luke 5, sometimes their condition is such that they simply don't have the strength or the ability to bring themselves there. Daily, we encounter, we're surrounded by people that are in a place of spiritual and often emotional paralysis. They're broken. Many are at a place of total and complete weariness. They're hopeless. They're crushed, they've been abused, and perhaps some trying to escape the pain have abused their own lives. And if we'll stop and remember, the reality is that at some point, Scripture says in Ephesians 2, we too were in that place, right? It says we too lived among them in the cravings of our flesh, but God was rich in mercy. The cumulative impact of sin and abuse can leave someone so crushed that they simply cannot find the will to move any more than this man could will his legs to move. Way back in Exodus 3, the Lord comes to Moses and he says, I've seen the affliction of my people. I hear their cries. I know their pain. I know their suffering, their anguish. I'm going to deliver them. So in Exodus 6, the Lord sends Moses. Moses comes to them with a message for the enslaved children of Israel. He said, the Lord, he said, the Lord says, I'm going to bring you out of this crushing heaviness. I'm going to deliver you from your captivity. I'll redeem you with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Right? And you'll be mine, you'll be my people, I'll be your God. It was good news, right? He's preaching the gospel, hope is here. And how did they respond? Is that they were unmoved, just, uh, okay, whatever. I mean, it says, it says they didn't listen to him because of their broken spirit and cruel bondage. Have you ever been there, sort of like deer in the headlights, spiritually, emotionally paralyzed, that because of the cumulative piling of pain and disappointment, you're unable to find any strength or ability within you to even begin to believe or respond to the message of hope that healing is here and freedom is coming. And you're like, sure, okay, whatever. Did the Lord cancel his plans because of their response? No, understanding the weight of their affliction, grasping the anguish of their condition, their brokenness, their weariness, their paralysis. He met them where they were and he did all the heavy lifting. Our world, our lives are full of people who are in such bondage, such captivity, trapped in their paralysis, having been so afflicted, so broken. They can't find the strength to move. They can't find the struggle to believe, much find the, much less the strength to move in the right direction. And, and when they don't respond as quickly or as enthusiastically as we'd like, the Lord is calling us, he's sending us to go to them, to walk with them, to lift them up, with the richness and the kindness of God's mercy, patiently, lovingly, tenderly, and sacrificially, without complaining, to do our part to carry the paralyzed to Yeshua. For many of the people who need the touch of Yeshua, we need to be willing to go to where they are, to do the heavy lifting and to carry them to him because they're paralyzed. It's the nature of their present condition. Paralyzed people can't bring themselves to Yeshua. So let's be willing to sacrifice our own comfort and to pay the price and do whatever it takes to get them to the only one who can truly heal them or restore them.